Hello, and welcome to Explained for Newbies. Have you ever wondered what's the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator? If you're not familiar with either of them, or you know one and not the other, it can be easy to get them confused, but they're definitely not the same thing. So that's what I'm going to talk about today, and hopefully I can shed some light on this. We'll start by going over the most fundamental difference between the two, which is which type of image they're meant for editing. Photoshop is for editing bitmap images, whereas Illustrator is for editing vector graphics. So what does that mean? Bitmap images are made of pixels, and vector graphics are made of smooth lines and curves. Bitmap images will have the file extension of .jpg, .png, or .gif, where a vector graphic will have a .svg on it. So let me explain the pixels versus curves concept. If you take a bitmap image and zoom really far into it, you can see the actual pixels that make up the image. If you do the same thing with a vector graphic, you won't get pixels, just smooth curves. You can scale it up as much as you like, and you won't ever see that grid of colored squares. That's actually what SVG stands for, Scalable Vector Graphic. So what does that mean for Photoshop and Illustrator? Well, it's actually pretty easy to understand from this point. When you open a bitmap image in Photoshop and zoom in, you can see the pixels clearly laid out for you, and yes, you can click on and edit each individual square as much as you please. If you do the same thing with an SVG and Illustrator, that doesn't happen, since, like I've said, there are no pixels. So, these lines and curves I've been talking about are understood by Illustrator as something called paths. Everything you draw in Illustrator is a path, no matter what tool you're using. Paths exist in Photoshop too, but they're just regular pixels at the end of the day. Although Illustrator is a vector-based program, there is a pixel grid inside the canvas, hence why you have to set pixel dimensions when you create a new project. But this is just for designating how large the graphic will display on a web page by default, and also just for aligning things like points on a path or using the nudge function. So let's recap. Photoshop is pixels, Illustrator is curves. Photoshop is regular images and raw photos, Illustrator is logos and drawing. Both are very powerful and useful, no matter who you are or what you do. 